Guys, you had four hours post the tragedy of the Harley Davidson to create something from her rubble. You have done amazingly well. Congratulations. <laughs> the winner, of course, of this build wins an advantage heading into the elimination. That is something that you want very much so, I would imagine, but it all comes down to Brickman, who's going to take a closer look at him now. We're going to start with Jackson and Alex. <laughs> all right. Fellas, congratulations. You guys have built a whole level of a video game, which, as, as a gaming nerd, I just love as an idea. <laughs> so who's the gamer out of you two? Both That's of pretty equal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we spent a lot of time playing video games together when we were younger. Yeah. <laughs> Our build today is a 2D platform video game set in a jungle. Your little character moves across, jumping over pits, fighting bosses. And some treasure at the end they're trying to get to. I just really like the fact that it clearly gets harder <laughs> as you go along, like, until you get to the final boss. I, I feel like, too, we've got to mention the controller. Like, I feel like the controller sells it. Definitely. That's attention to detail, and, and I think it's wonderful. And, and likewise, things like how many lives we've got left. Our Love the hearts. hearts. Yeah. Love the hearts. And, and the score. The only thing I'd say is it could have done a fair bit more above things like clouds or have some monsters or something like that. Yeah. But I've got to say, guys, it's an incredibly fun build. Thank you. And I, I want to play the video game. Great stuff, guys. Well done. Guys. <laughs> Fellas. Congrats uh, that you pulled it off. How do you feel? Yeah, I was panicking there for a while. I didn't think <laughs> it was going to carry the expression we needed. Put on a moustache, the pencil moustache, and you've got yourself a villain. There's a lot of subtle touches on that face that make it very funny that this is a guy that's <laughs> doing something he doesn't need to do, <laughs> which is dress up as a chicken to get eggs, which human beings do all the time, suitless. <laughs> However, Brickman, what's your thoughts? There's about 20 bricks or 25 bricks in his face. I didn't think there were enough decent parts to be able to make a face, let alone one that captured an emotion. You've got Lego hands as part of the chin to hold up the mouth, that kind of stuff. It's amazing that you managed to pull that face off. And choosing a bright, out there Lego colour as opposed to a dark, gloomy type model makes a huge difference. And then to take that and run with something that's fun is even better. That is a sublime Lego model. Well done. Congratulations. Hey. Guys, congratulations. A man in a phoenix suit. It's such a realistic <laughs> phoenix suit. I've got to say, we're very talented. We're very talented. Like, I think it looks like a real phoenix. Are you happy with where it ended up? I'm really happy. It's not our usual style, but I like that we've been versatile enough to embrace a different style and make it work. I'm really happy with your subject matter. I think you chose really well. You went bigger, which was a relief. I'm really glad that you went larger. The only question mark that I have is probably, it's a little bit simplistic in its build, not to your usual standards. And I can only imagine how this Phoenix would look if you had access to the brick bit. However, the challenge today was to use these limited parts. But I've got to say, looks pretty epic. Well done, guys. Congratulations. Good on you guys. I'm so forever, but... Yeah, cool. Guys, well done. An amazing temple with complete with Minotaur. Do I spy pants being yes. used as not pants? Yes. yes. OK. <laughs> Got it. The bull's hands are pants. <laughs> and all is right within yeah. the LEGO building universe. I think you've got all the play elements there which make for a lot of fun. It does tell a story. You've got a good versus evil type thing happening. There seems to be a frenzy of like tons of people that have got a deep desire to steal Lego.
Kind of reminds me of the way Damien was behaving <laughs> earlier in the show. <laughs> You've taken that energy and just transferred oh, it to Tomb Lord Raiding. That's right. I am a little bit confused about one character, if I may. Yeah. Yeah. This guy. He's out bird spotting in the middle of a minotaur. Completely well. oblivious to what's going on. Yeah. Surrounded by angry yeah. scorpions. Well. <laughs> I wasn't 100% sure what, what he was doing. I think you should be really proud. It's a great build. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome, guys. Thank you. A very difficult challenge. It was really, really impressive to see you all thinking in a different way and to fight for your Lego bricks, literally, at the start of the build. I mean, that was optional, <laughs> but some chose to fight. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, guys. There can only be one team that, can. that wins the advantage. That could be a huge difference for them in the elimination build. Brickman, who are our top two? So the first team I would like to call forward to be in the running for the big advantage is... Andrew and Damien. Well done, man. Thank you. And the second team that I would like to call forward for a shot at the advantage is Trent and Josh. So, Andrew and Damien. What I really liked about your build today, you had a villain, you had good guys, there was a clear story that you could see. It was also a great use of parts. That Minotaur was really difficult to pull off. I thought it was fantastic. It was a great build. Cool, thank you. Trent and Josh, it was a really difficult decision to make a character. I know they're your forte. I personally didn't think this was the time to do it. There was so little tan-coloured pieces, yet you still managed to build a character. One that had an emotional face, one that looked like a villain. I think that humour is what got you over the line, and that's why you've won the advantage. Well done, guys. This is finals week. That advantage today is extra special. We're so excited. We're hoping that gets us to the grand final.